And I'm sorry to fade it early, but I've got a very important gentleman on the phone. I'd like to introduce him. Uh, on the day that Radiohead released the 19-track double CD download, the King of Lim Limbs remix of TKOLRMX, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, today, we have the lovely Colin Greenwood on the line. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm all right, thank you, Colin. You said you're in blustery Oxford today. Blustery, is it? Oh, Hello? Hello. Colin, where have you gone? Where are you? Uh, you there? Yeah. I can hear you. Where are you, Colin? It's I'm at home, just kicking back, you know, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, and uh, just got back from um, playing some shows in, in America, in New York. All right, OK. So, listen, it sounds like your phone line's being a bit remixed uh, as I talk to you, which I suppose is apt because you're here to talk about the new album, uh, the new remix album, which features mixes from the likes of Subtract, Jamie XX, Caribou. How did it come about? It came about, well, we just, we always put our records out, we, you know, for remixing and stuff, and we always put it to them when we were the EMI and things, and, uh, and it's just something, you know, that we've, we've always been interested in, and it's, you know, and Tommy especially, when he was at college, he's DJ a lot and stuff, and, you know, a lot of people into a lot of early walk things, and um, I guess it was that, you know, that's how it came about. All right. I mean, I would imagine that you have every producer and kind of musician just clamouring to remix you, get their hands on your work. How do you go about selecting who was going to do which track? Well, well, this time what we thought would be cool was, was that we gave the, the, our music two remixes that we liked in the same spirit that when we worked on the original tracks, which was, you know, so they started up as a bunch of, like, improvised rhythms and loops and, and things that we sort of put in put together and then built the music up out of that and we thought well that'd be cool if like the, the people that we liked who did their own remix work we sort of would do it the same way and make, make their own music mm -hmm. out of you know the sort of rhythms and stuff from the, you know from, from our music that sounds so good it, it'll be more like it'll be more like their pleasures and different things rather than just you know like you know Doing a straight first, taking the vocal and just you know, and and putting just putting a couple of different things underneath it. Right. It sounds. I mean, it sounds very collaborative and very relaxed. But you know, that's not always the case. What if you get something back? You're listening to it and you go, "Hang on a minute, let's take my bass out." Where did that go? <laughs> what's, yeah. what's happened? Well, I think another thing about this music is a lot of it designed to be played in clubs loudly. Mm -hmm. So it's like you know that that and that's, well, that's the sort of that's the field that these people work in a lot. So you know that that's, okay. you know not to say that I don't enjoy some of it at home, but some of it you know it's like when I went to Plastic People a few months ago and and Tom played out um, a remix of uh, Radiohead of Feral, and it was just bonkers. And watching you know when the, you know the the, the, the when the rhythm comes in and the the, the way the drop out and stuff and. And the crowd going mad and stuff, you know, all of that. And that's that. when you hear it in that environment, it's just brilliant. Completely makes sense. I mean, speaking of which, tomorrow night the band is celebrating the release of the album by holding a special event at the Boiler Room. Um, yeah. Tom will be DJing again along with Jamie XX, Caribou. Um, I yeah. mean, I think everyone can watch it online, can't they? Is yeah. that right? I, was, I saw, I saw um, my friend Kieran, who was opening for us with. Uh, Kieran Hebden? Yeah, with Fortessen. With, 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 Rocket Pop and I in New York last week, and he was laughing about that because he, he said to Tom, Are "You sure you you know you'll, you'll be?" He said that the boiler room is the most scary, exposed um, DJ team that he he knows because when you're in the middle of the room and stuff. So uh, he was saying to Tom, "It's going to be uh, quite an experience." It's boilerroom.tv, I think, if people want to watch it. Um, are you going to be stepping up to the decks, Colin? Spinning any yeah. tunes? I'm going to be clicking a bit quietly in the corner. <laughs> That's a sensible approach going, oh, oh, he's going down in a blaze of glory. God, God love him. Um, now, listen, you played the opening uh, episode to the new season of Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live a couple of weeks back. Alec Baldwin was hosting. How did that go? That was, that was extraordinarily that was exciting. It was brilliant. It was funny for a start, which was great. The jokes were funny, the sketches. And then uh, we had a dressing room next to him, and he came in to introduce himself dressed as a Milky Bar kid <laughs> with two toy guns and a kid's shirt and a, and a kid's cowboy hat on and said, I'm Alec Baldwin. Of course you are, you know. Wow. And, uh, so that was amazing. And Steve Martin was there as well and, <gasps> and Seth Rogen. And uh, it was just brilliant. I mean, the, the, the one sort of tricky thing about the show is that you're there from like 3.30 to 2 in the morning, you know. So 
you, you in a tiny dressing room in in in, in uh, you know in, in, in New York. But but you know, I think that's one of the things that made like the show we did the next couple of days later so sort of electric because we were all like we'd been cooped up, you know. Mm-hmm. So when we played, it was just like really good to, be, good to be released. Well, listen, you know, Colin, as you said. You've been playing some shows over there in the in the, uh, the US and been doing stuff over there. What happens next for the band? I mean, we don't want to rush you, but is there another album in the works? Do you fancy a tour at any point soon? What's going we, on? We, we, we just, we've just been spending the last weekend together planned for, for, for next year. And, and, I mean, we just had such a good time playing the shows last week. And, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, so we just want to... We're just going to, you know, keep, keep doing that, really. And we should be announcing stuff, you know, in the near future and... Uh, yeah, no, it was, it was just brilliant. And we've been playing with the Clyde and Portishead, with Clyde and Phil, and I'm sitting in the middle of these two brilliant drummers, and I, and I just can't wait to do more of that. Well, listen, we can't wait for you to do more of it either. Thank you very much for that polite yet slightly inscrutable answer, uh, Colin. What is, what is the rest of the day for you now? Uh, what, this, what, what, this day, um, today, now. What happens now to Colin Greenwood? Is it Monday? Yeah, um, it's Monday. Uh, and, and is Tony Blair still Prime Minister? He's right? not. He's gone, Colin. He's gone. We haven't got time to go through, through all this. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to be. Well, I'm going to be listening. I'm going to be checking out some music, uh, listening to a couple of remixes and things like that. And uh, yeah, and then I'm going to be doing stuff like that. Really. Oh, we wish we could hang out with you and do that, Colin. That sounds really yeah. nice. All right. Have a lovely day. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Now. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Lovely Colin Greenwood off of Radiohead there and uh, the new album is out today.